So we back. These have been in the ground like 97 days also. Counting the time that, you know, at seedlings, we bought them from Home Depot. Now this one right here, this vine right here was a slip that came out of the house, right? We grew that one in the house. But these were the sweet potato vines that we brought as uh, the sweet potato slip that we bought at season right here. But I'm just gonna pull it all up, you know. But again, if you didn't see the last one, that's what we got from the backyard. Nothing too major, but it's something. And the reason why I'm not tripping, because now I know I'm going to just let them go. I got a swimming pool with sweet potato slips, and I got another 20-gallon container with sweet potato slips. I got five sweet potato slips in the 20-gallon. I got like eight, nine sweet potato slips in the swimming pool. But enough talking. These are Beauregard sweet potatoes, so we're just going to get right into it. We got something born. A lot of small ones. You know this soil is hot as hell. And believe it or not, these are golden for me. I ain't fucked up.
We did get some roots that can get the bottom, so we got some growth that's going through though. This soil is hot as hell. But I don't think we got none that got down that they were still going. So the sweet potato still from the house didn't give me nothing but this. Ha! This is what we got, man. They're really decent, a bunch of small ones. Gonna set them out, let them cure. Take about 10, 14 days. You wanna let the starch in them. Uh, break down into sugar, natural sugar, all the starch in it, all this starch. You know, most roots, vegetables, full of starch. They're not iron-based. But this is an alkaline food, alkaline vegetable. This is an alkaline vegetable, so, you know, still good. But this is what we got, man. And we up out of here. Peace on y'all.